Hey guys, Tony here, and in this video, I'm gonna break down five reasons why you might want to own an ultra short throw projector for your setup, and five reasons why you might not, so stay tuned. So guys, I've had an ultra short throw projector for over a year now when it was sent to me by Vava. And since I made a couple of videos, it pretty much lived in the box as I had no real way of using it. When the opportunity came for me to test out their new ambient light rejection 100 inch screen, it was a perfect opportunity to test it out again. And before I knew it, I was trying to figure out how I could make it a permanent part of my setup. And while I'm still building out the perfect casual space, I have been using it consistently for a few months now. So it was the perfect opportunity for me to make a video about my experiences. So why would you want to own an ultra short throw projector over a conventional projector or a TV for that matter? An ultra short throw projector will sit up close to the wall and be able to project around 100 inches to 150 inches depending on how close it is to the wall. This means you will be getting a very large picture for arguably quite an affordable price. This Vava 4K projector retails for about 2800 bucks and will produce up to a 150 inch image with quite a bit of brightness. We are only now hearing about 100 inch televisions trickling into the retail market and from what I can see they are well over the $10,000 mark for a base model. Considering a screen like this ambient light rejection screen I have installed, also from Vava, costs around $600 and looks like a TV with its thin bezel, you're looking at around $3,400 all in for a 100 inch television on your wall with arguably a sensational picture. Supercritical TV aficionados may not find the image up to standard but this 4K image in my opinion opinion for the cost and the size tips the scales quite nicely. The size of an ultra short throw projector is relatively similar to a standard projector you might have hanging from the ceiling, but there is a benefit, especially in a casual space, for not having to run HDMI cables up through your ceiling, as well as drilling brackets to hold it up. It's a quick and easy way to get the projector in place to simply have it up against the wall. And the screen, and this alone, is a big factor, especially in a casual space, where you don't want to have a bulky projector hanging from the ceiling. While it might not be a factor in a dedicated home theater, casual spaces or living rooms will make a ceiling mounted projector more prohibitive. An ultra short throw projector like this Vava 4K laser TV will make a 100 inch image while sitting quite close to the wall and just by moving it out a little bit more you can have up to a 150 inch image which is still pretty big for having it that close to the wall. Being that it's close and a laser light source, you do get a lot of brightness as the projected light doesn't have to travel as far, so you will get a very solid and bright image. Personally, I love having a 100 inch screen to be able to watch shows like The Clone Wars and have the immersion factor of my dedicated home theatre. Again, this is achievable with a ceiling mounted projector, however it is more of an investment and consideration in a casual space when setting it up and the size is larger than you will get from a television for the price. An ultra short throw projector is easily moved to a new location. In the room I currently have, I decided to change walls so that I could have a better viewing angle, so it was pretty easy to relocate it. If I also wanted to change rooms, I could literally just pick it up and shine it on the wall and it would be as easy as picking it up and getting a movie going straight away. In my opinion, this is the most important reason of all for having an ultra short throw projector over a television in a casual space. And that is that I get an amazing visual experience in my upstairs lounge room on a 100 inch screen, which is quite cinematic because it is a projector. And I feel personally that a projected image is more immersive than a television. It may not have the image quality of a high end TV, but I love the way a movie plays back on my Vava 4K and I find myself spending the last hour of my day up here watching something before bed, even more than my downstairs television, which has a dedicated setup of 7.2.4. I will save this for another video, but I'm about to transform this space into something more dedicated with my quick speakers and my Gobi lighting, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that video. It's going to be a very cool series of videos where I transform this space. So now we move to some of the negatives of an ultra short throw projector. These aren't deal breakers, but they are things to consider and having some flexibility really helps when trying to overcome the issues. The struggle is real. Getting the ultra short throw projector to line up perfectly to the screen without keystone or bleeding the image over the edge is extremely difficult. 
I don't like to use Keystone as it warps the image, leaves a small amount of light behind which is noticeable and also reduces the clarity of the image. A lot of work and thought has to go into the placement of your projector as moving a screen up and down is usually not possible. I will say in the case of this Vava screen, I am very fortunate that their mounting system does allow for vertical movement, so once the projector is in place on the vertical plane, it is easier to move the screen, as the furniture and the projector it's resting on is less likely to be moved. As I don't have the final piece of furniture for this projector in place yet, it's not being delivered until October. I had to try and jerry-rig something with what I had, which while it isn't pretty, it has the alignment very close to where it needs to be to fill the screen. I have had to keystone it slightly, which is annoying. I wish that projector companies built in a way to shift the image up and down like you can on most ceiling mounted projectors. Now, I firstly didn't notice it too much before I had to keystone the screen. And if you do a large keystone, you will find that the halo is getting larger. So getting it as close to the screen as possible is really critical. This halo issue isn't just on Vava Ultra Short Throw projectors. I have tested out other Ultra Short Throw projectors and they do show a faint halo. My hope is that when I get my new TV unit to rest it on that I can pinpoint it right to the corners and minimize the need to keystone. The other option, and I am actually going to do it, is to try and mask the glow by putting some LEDs behind the screen. These have been provided to me by Govi, and I will be showing it in an up and coming video. It should be a last resort, but if you do want to get a 100 inch screen with an ultra short throw projector, sometimes you do have to do these compromises. One of the most negative impacting factors on an ultra short throw projector is ambient light or daylight. I did a video recently on this ALR screen by Vava and while this is one of the best screens I have ever built or tested, it simply can't combat light coming in from the side. And while during the day, even with the shutters down, light will still hit the screen, which I showed during the tests. In my case, I don't use this setup during the day anyway, so it isn't much of a limiting factor. But if I was to have this downstairs in my main living room, there is no way it would work as there is a lot of light coming through. So this is something to consider when deciding on an ultra short throw projector. In a light controlled room, the brightness and clarity I get from this Vava is truly exceptional. As a home theater enthusiast and my desire to create a great audio experience, it is almost impossible to get the center channel to work with an ultra short throw projector because both the center channel and the projector want to occupy the same space. If you place the center channel above the projector, it will block the light. So having it underneath is the only option, which can reduce the realism of sound because it will feel like it's coming down from below. In my case, I have speakers with a pretty decent dispersion pattern and also angle them up so so it's pretty good and I don't notice it too much, but the purist in me really wants to have it up higher. In wall speakers could have helped here, but I do have a load bearing vertical timber running straight through the middle of the room, so I just couldn't do it. I know how good it is having all of your LCR at the proper height as I do in my dedicated room. So this is just something that I had to compromise. And as I always say in all of my videos, compromise is the name of the game when you're building a dedicated home theater, especially in an existing space. Relating to the previous reason, having a projector in view can be quite an eyesore. Personally, I don't mind it, but a lot of wives out there may disagree. There isn't a lot of furniture out there that will cater to having an ultra short throw projector, and the ones that do and have concealed solutions to vent out the hot air can cost several thousands of dollars. At this point, I feel that the benefits are well outweighed by the cost. This resorts to having DIY options or a custom piece built by a professional or finding a piece of furniture that will work in your setup. The height of the cabinet will affect where the projected image may be on the wall and you may have to resort to putting shims underneath to prop the projector up. So lack of furniture is another drawback for an ultra short throw projector. In my case, as I've mentioned, I have something on order which I think will work. I will have the center channel directly underneath, but I will be angling it up. And in the last couple of months that I've had this setup, I've actually really enjoyed it. And when I'm sitting back watching a movie, I don't notice that the sound is coming from underneath. So what do I think about this? My conclusion is owning an ultra short throw projector is that it is a great alternative to a television if you want to have a super large image. I don't know what the future will be for ultra short throw projectors considering that TVs are getting bigger and bigger and also cheaper. So before long we may have 100 inch or 120 inch televisions costing only a couple of thousand dollars. 
This isn't a prediction, more just looking at history. When televisions are able to reach 100 or 120 inches in the mainstream, it's possible that the need for ultra short throw projectors may die completely, but that could still be quite a way away. For now, as in my case, I have grown to love this setup in my upstairs living room and I have some very exciting plans to turn this room into something pretty special. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss it. Let me know what you think down in the comments section, whether or not you have an ultra short throw projector or you're considering getting one for your setup. Anyway guys, a very big thank you for watching, but that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.